Hello folks and welcome back to Bay Spring. It is a nice beautiful morning here, a crisp winter morning in January. So yeah, being a tad busy, for one, we've got the contract done, so if we go to our contracts, get that Corvain contract done, that's an extra two grand in the bank. Also, we've gone and bought a new tanker. Got the little small flatbed, also though cotton round, but it does have a liquid tank function. And that holds like 25,000 litres. Also, we've gone and repaired and repainted all of our old combine equipment, so now you will sell those, get a bit of money back. Obviously, it was a very cheap equipment to start off with. And we've got a new horn here we bought at the end of the last episode. And I think, let's go and get the rest of it. Yeah, perhaps we could wait. Nah, we won't wait. So headers, we want. No, not that one, it's the other one, the 25 footer or 28 footer. There we go. What's the difference between N70 for E? I guess it's the wheels, I think. Yeah, that's a swivel wheel. That one's rigid. Do we want rigid or not? I'm gonna go with rigid. Chassis colour, a new horn yellow. And rims, we'll go with black, jet black rims. But yes, yeah, so we want to grab you. 48 grand. And we're back down to pretty much setting off our old combine equipment. Pretty much made up for just header and the trader of this new combine. Uh, is there anything to use market today? There is, but nothing to our interest or what we can afford. Yeah. But we will have some more money coming in shortly because we are going to sell the milk. And also, we got to sell a lot of slurry as well today. Now let's test it, so... So yeah, it swivels, but not as much as you'll, the other set would have been, so... Well, I'm happy with that. And now, let's go sell some milk. We should get... About 24 grand for this because it's the best place at the moment to sell milk at. 2300, I think it was when I last checked. Look. Yeah, 2339. Yeah, 24,500 quid. But now, let's see to the shop and sell this because we don't need this one anymore. Or do we? I shall have a quick look, but I'm pretty sure we don't. But yeah, so that holds 25,000 litres. And that was second hand, so that did pop up in the used market. I shall see what it holds a sec. So it holds... Diesel... Logistic slurry, herbicide, and all that. And compared to. Yeah, I might as well sell this, so. Let's see, it's to the shop and sell it. There we go. Let's go and drop you over. Yeah, I could do with refilling as well since we're already down here. Let's go and refill that. Let's hop over here. £156 in fuel. Ooh, 
Let's see his ground for this. Not too shabby. Covers the cost for a new tanker. Ah, this could do with repairing. No, she's taking the combine actually as well, so. Let's go and repair the combine. That's the thing. How much is it? Four grand. That's something I've got to keep an eye on, because that could really bite us in the butt in the long term. The constant maintenance, but that's the thing. These aren't going to be major fields we're doing, so the, the heavy work of actually preparing these. Mm, well, that was close then. But yeah, the actual heavy work of this of powering the header and combining crop it actually could be very small, actually. Go. I guess it moves that list from the. But you know what? Everything's repaired now. Just keep things going along. Also, we would need to at some point. Whatever some of this rooms. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> but yeah, this can hold 25,000 litres of stuff. Snippet stuff. Because how much of like manure and survey got? Because you wouldn't sell these. I'll never have gone past it. 54,000 is a straw. Oh, it ain't popping up here. And this is at the bottom. Yeah, so 52,000 is of manure. So that's going to be two trade loads. And best place is the BGA. And similar with the Surrey, but also we can take out to sell everything container. But that ain't the full story because 189,000 years of Surrey. Is that just from the cows? Yes, it is. But we also have a Surrey pit that we use for a lot of Surrey work, so... What's that clip in? No idea whatsoever. But yeah, if I head back to the farm, there is a Surrey pit, and that's what we used it for when we did all the Surrey on the fields. And actually, that was quite useful, actually. Which I actually didn't realise, first of all, I was focused on the cows. And look around the farm and ooh. Obviously per load we only get about two and a half grand, so quick math, three hundred grand we're gonna get about three grand for this for Surrey. And five grand for the manure, so but yeah, ain't gonna be tons of money. Thank you for helping me steer. I think it's still going to be worth it. So yeah, the Surrey pit here, which I did not realise. And that's got uh, only 53,000 years, so... I thought I had 100,000 years for some reason. Wondering what was popping up. Oh, yeah, wow, look at that. That fills up very quickly. So, Surrey, best place to sell it is at the BGA or sell everything. Is that the side thing there? It is compared to BGA, which is down there. Pretty much the same distance, so we can come out of here, go up, or cut across the cow out of here, and then up. But yeah, so I'm gonna sell a few of these, so yeah, about two and a half grand we're gonna get, so let's go to the first cell, and then we'll do the rest in time lapse. And there we 
go. So yeah, one thing I realise, obviously, this is a rigid trailer, so the flexibility and maneuverability may not be the greatest. But, it may so, as I said, about two and a half grand. If I guess about 2600 per load we're going to get. But yeah, let's have a little look, shall we? 2800 actually, you know what? That's an extra 200 quid. I would not mind at all. Okay, that was my fault, in fairness. But yeah, I think you can then sell and everything. We'll just leave the main farmyard and go that way because it's a lot easier for us. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is get the rest of this done, and yeah, I'll see you folks on the other side. And there we go, send the last bit of story and just skip ahead on a bit. Mainly just see if the price differences in the manure and slurry would have gone up. But in reality no, may have gone up by a pound or two per thousand litres, but in the great scale of things, a one to two percent difference, whatever, ain't gonna really make much of a difference with how much money we're getting from this. If it was something like silage, then yes. Be a noticeable difference, but it means we're at 306 grand now, just crossing to the 300k mark. And I'm pretty sure we paid back our debts right. Finances, yep, paid all our debts off. So this 300 grand is ours. And really, we're looking at possibly new land. Don't really need any new equipment. Now, what's that? Was that flexible? And that was just a ref <laughs> reflection, that's all. I thought it was a collectible sort of error, but. Run the side of the roads. For 
sorts of habits. Must be being a Brit and all that as well. But anywho, any cars behind us? Nope. See so, yeah. how. Okay, I should check before I can cross the road. You alright, there, bud? Yeah, I'm sorry, it's my fault. Go on. Clear. Let's go. Oops. Just make sure we get through. Yeah, that's the thing with this tanker. Wait a minute. Oh, sorry. But yeah, with that tanker, that's what you can get used to is the tightness of it. Where it's all on a swivel axle, but the advantage of a swivel axle is yes, nearability, downside, bloody parking those things. But what caught my eye was oh, one piece of parking. I did see something on my travels. Where was it? There we go. That's another sheet collectible, that's one grand. And pretty sure we collect everything here. Oh no. That's a cow one. I thought I checked around there, I must have picked up one around here, but anything here. We've got our spanners. We've got our strimmer and that. But no collectibles around here. Nothing underneath. Nothing on the shelves. Nope. Ooh, an old gaming station. But yeah, nope, so... But yeah, that's one thing we may do at some point here, is go around. And look for some more collectibles than that. But yeah, with the money we can buy things like the dairy and that. But that's the thing we'll need a good supply of milk in that. Which at the moment, we just don't really have a strong milk supply because we've only got 15 cows. But once our calves have grown up, so was it 12 months or so, I think? So, next summer, perhaps we could look at getting some more, but man, they need food. And so does these cows. Unfortunately, I've been busy going back and forth. Well, you did the one dump early on, I think. But, yep, so going to dump the second load in. I think if we do it this way, that's when then it won't really catch. Yeah, see, he's not catching the. Okay, catching a little bit there, but. Is that them full? Yes it is, because we've still got a bit of hay. What you may do is let the cows run out of food, use that last bit of hay. But really, there's got to be a better way with this. Something like a mixed wagon in that. Uh, how much is going to be a mixed wagon though? 45 grand for that. 24 grand. But what about any of these? I did any of some, some of these. I thought, ooh, these would come in handy for us, but 18,000 litres. Something like that, though. 30,000 litres. But what about the self propelled ones? How much are they? Ouch. And that's the thing. Only go up to what 26,000 litres? Even a little one like that. 121 grand. Yeah, no, there's like the modded one of those you can get, but what's in the use market? Oh, God. wow. Talk about looking at. 
the Sonic Intro Line 4.0 Premium 3022 at 52% off for the base version of 22,000 liters. But if you spend an extra four grand, no, 16 grand, you get the 30,000 liter capacity. You know what? I'm going to buy that. That has made all the difference here. But yeah, we need to get these cleared off so I can actually return these to. There we go. There we go. Because how much have we got left here? Not a lot. Yeah, what's that's filling up? Let's go pick up that. Milk tanker for now. Well, I'll pick up some milk for now, a thousand years or so. Let's see that. That's on the foot there. Actually, you know what? I'm half tempted just to get rid of that. Because we don't really use that building, so. Clear up space a bit. Just it opens up the yard a bit more as well. But yeah, at some point, what we may need to do is get some people coming in. Maybe just tie up the ground in that bit because. It looks a bit run down now. Could do with like rejuvenating the farm a bit, you know. Sprucing it up. Put some new fences up that are more suitable for us and our needs. Ouch. But, yeah, so. Yeah, part is on the driveway. <laughs> and what? Something like that I'll do for now. May look at into getting some further storage for our equipment and that. Especially when we take deliver that new combine. Currently is at the shop and that just it's been taken care of for at the shop and that's going some maintenance and that. So you what know, what's the seal shop getting worked on in that, making sure it's functional for the upcoming farming year and that or farm season. We'll go and get that silo, or that mixed wagon, silo king, whatever it is, and deliver it back to the farm. And with that done, so bunker silo is now empty. Uh, we'll return that as well, why not? If we need it, we'll buy it. But, okay, so, on that side, fair enough. I was hoping to try to knock it around. But in theory, if we just put silage in and nothing else, it should still say silage in there, right? I think so. Try to think, how does this go again? That's it, there we go. So if we say pick up some of these bells are actually knocked over. There we go. That is fifteen thousand litres. So in theory, if we say drop those in. Actually, best if we get Deutz for our six series just to churn up those bells. And actually, really, we should re unwrap them, I think, actually. Because it's going to have a bit of foil in there wrapped up with it, so. There we go, 
just keep it churning. Let's unwrap a couple more bells. There we go, so unwrap a lot of these. And really, it should be just an easy process of picking them up, popping them in, and be good as gold. So, we'll take four bells each. But I'm sure we can do some jiggery pokeriness with this, so that's what I may end up doing actually. Let's push that in. So that's filled up now. That is 30,000 litres of delicious silage. And I think if we try to squeeze four more in, then as it's emptying, it will rip up these bells. Actually, no, maybe not. Okay, we'll just do two then. There we go. having a bit of struggle there with the power. Makes sense with the weight in that, because how much that weighs. Actually, how much do these bells weigh? 1.3 tonnes, so that is 5.2 tonnes alone in bells. Let alone anything else on top of it. So, you know what? We'll use the 7 series, that's why we got this. This is our little workhorse tractor already. We've got 16 hours on the clock on it already. Includes those forks so no one impels themselves on it. Or damage anything like that. But yeah, this should make quick work with it, because how much does our calves need? Not a lot, they're at 84,000 views at the moment, so in theory, actually, this may be just enough on its own. I don't think we can store it in the silo, so... I think it'd be interesting to see how much they actually use, because will this be enough food? Silage. The cows will. Ah, there we go. I would say it was just something with all in that, so. Fair enough. Good, a bit of information to know. And that's the thing. We can use this to make TMR and that, because we have a look here. Really, we can literally get away with. What's that? I'll say. 12.5% straw minimum. About 33% hay and silage minimum. And mineral feed is next one from none till. Don't need mineral feed. Yeah, so if we to give our cows premium food, premium TMR, then yeah, mineral feed is a must addition. 
but it's just so damn expensive. For this we can find where it was an importer, a local, or someone within Ireland or even from the UK. You know how that will work with Brexit and all that going on now. I'm not sure the whole border situation with the red tape and this. I'll make importing some mineral feed in that. Whether it be from the UK or the rest of the EU or even abroad into the Americas now because the states do enjoy their cow feed in that. So, well, what I mean by that, they enjoy obviously grazing their cows and that with chemicals and that. Obviously, our cows are not from, made from chemicals. Or well, no, should I say, our cow feed are not mixed with chemicals. Our cows, definitely not, no. We don't have mutant cows here on the farm, surely not, no. So, alright then. So, let's grab four more bells. Whack them in here. There are 130,000 here, so... This would be the last of those for them. Nope. Ah, oh, bugger me. Bear with me a sec. Minor correction there, so yeah. Let's go and grab these. Because what I'm going to do is leave these two bells here with the cows. Along with whatever's left in here, so... Because once we get this over, we'll get the either one of the six series, either the newer or the older toys far. Leave it near the cows and that, and then whenever we can just walk over, switch on the tractor, give them their feed. And then that's the job's are good enough, I think. I think if we start with the bells, what well, we've got on the fork, first of all. See if they take both bells. If they do, that'll make our life easier. So, alright. Let's go and grab them the bells. Or go give them the bells. And. Oh no! Oh, only a tiny bit of the bell left. issue again with it's not is there something to do with this oh where did that go huh um where in in all of that's holy the fuck happened there <laughs> oh god we got f bloody located now so own items hand tools you show sure map if it's on this map there'd be a massive beacon up in the sky You've literally got to be kidding me. Yeah, there's no beacon at all. You'll see it from miles away, so it's literally anywhere on the map. Oh, well. It was nice whilst it lasted, but... Yeah. I'm sure we'll get a replacement of some sort of war. Perhaps I'm going to find it and return it to us at some point. Ah, that's why it's not emptying, because I was just playing 4, ain't it? Oh, I'm stupid. 
Oh, I'm such an idiot sandwich. Or is there any contracts in that? No, not really at the moment. But yeah, until... When's the... F yeah, well, nothing's going to happen in February. So perhaps skip till March, perhaps. That's when we start planting stuff again. Can't do grass until April, so... So literally nothing. Oh yeah, so skip ahead a time a bit and we'll resume in February or March, I think. Well, alrighty then, so yeah, nothing much happened in February and even into March, so... You know what, I thought, heck it, accept your contracts, fertilizing on field 136 and plowing on field 77. And we've gone and bought the plow that we've been using before, the Lizard 9 MT. We've leased the equipment for this, we did provide our own fertilizer, but the owner did say if, for whatever reason, once we're done, there's fertilizer left over, because there's 9,000 years here, and another 1,000 years here, so 10,000 years. And the owner says, if for whatever reason, we didn't use all of basically what's left in the tank after is I went to buy off us at almost retail price, so you know what, I am not complaining on that, so 136 is down here on the left. Yes, yeah, so it's not 13, the sugar we filled with done is ah yeah, that one there's saber, so this won't take too long at all. And oh very handy. Yeah, we could have saved our slurry and use that, but it would have meant a few trips and with our farm, yes, I like to go with that organic farming route of just keep everything as artificial free as possible. However, when it comes to doing contracts for the locals and that, I went to use more artificial processed or artificially created materials such as fertilizer. Things like Surrey, that comes from the cows themselves, so that's nature's fertilizer. That's why I didn't have an issue with Surrey on our farm. Obviously we're gonna have to use herbicide and pesticide. And yes, we've got to be careful with it of not it leaching into the river. Or at least restricted the amount we use, that's why once we get a herbicide sprayer, we'll make sure it's linked to the tractor and that wherever we're using. It's precisely controlled so it only puts out the exact amount we need to use. Not any more, nothing less, so... And the contract is always 50% complete, so you know what? I'm going to get this done, and the plow done, and I'll see you folks in a few moments.
Well, so yeah, that is a few contracts done. Got a bit of money out from the fertilizers and that, so not too shabby. We couldn't find our loader, but we managed to grab this one. This costs us two grand. So pretty much the same price for the other one it was in the end. Is that full? Oh. Alright, interesting, that is full. Fair enough, we'll go and grab that anyways. I uh, will quickly take this back into the shower because it is this should just start to rain. Literally at this very minute, so how long does it rain to check the weather? Rain till six o'clock, so you know what? Let's skip ahead till six o'clock, shall we? Hopefully we still have a little bit of light for us. Our lights on ready because I want to get these cows feed topped up ready for overnight. So have a look at the cows. It's literally a little bit left. So you know what? Let's go into the dark a bit. There we go, spare. So Oh wow, that's pitch black that is. Did not expect that. Chuck whatever we've got here in. And that's them filled up. But yeah, these cows, they are absolutely hungry. And I am generally concerned about whether or not we're going to have enough silage in that for them. Because if we go back to the yard sec, we have already almost gone through half of the silage we've got. Okay, fair enough, we've got 3,000 years here, maybe a bell in there somewhere as well. So yeah, it's not all doom and gloom, but... Certainly, with all the grass fields we've got at the moment, if we did everything again... We'll just about have a healthy supply of silage. But here's the thing. I want more silage so that we sell in the winter and that, because... Silage is a good thing to do. Yeah, I know we're into spring now, and the price of silage is going to go down, but we can find a way to store these over winter and that. And you know, that'll be a good option for us. Quick check, any more contracts? Nope. Uh, yeah, see? Almost gone through the last bit here, so just gonna pick these up. And these three we will stack over here in the shelter. And that last bell will chuck into the mixer, so that is almost half of our produce here because remember with one new sacks of bells we didn't quite have a full twenty four, so Does it hang bells? No, it does not. But yeah, also, we spent some money on getting this repainted a bit. Only 150 quid for a lick of paint. Make it a bit more of a newer green. To match the rest of our equipment now. So, seeing that, I still may sell that at some point, but for the time being, we're going to keep it, I think. But yeah, that is going to be pretty much it for the day. So tomorrow what we'll do is top up the cows and that where needed. Oh yep, yeah, see? Three bells. Shove it in there a little bit. 
But yeah, so tomorrow what we need to do is start herbicide in our fields. Planting window is now for the winter wheat. Obviously tomorrow that's gonna be over, but we still gonna do barley, canola and oats. And things like corn, sunflower, soybeans are underway. We could do potatoes, sugar beet. We could do sorghum as well. So a few options for us, so that's if we go and buy another field. If I was gonna buy another field, I've had a look and got some options. 69, 4.12 hectares. That is pretty much all of our money, but we get fields 113 through to 116. And they are decent yieldage, but let's see, just go a little bit further north. We get into the bare area, so we can get that, we can get that. Wait a minute, so that is. I just want to see the price for a sec. That is 60, 66 grand per hectare, 67.5, 65. That's very expensive. And 68 grand there for that two hectare field. But they say if you want to get these three, or these four, sorry, that is 104, 177. That is. 237, 239, 439, half a mil. Do we do a bunch of size contracts next month or within the next couple of months to get these fields planted? Because these could be a good source of crops. So, yeah, they're a bit hilly in that. I am concerned about getting the combine in there, but we can do some scouting on that, potentially. When we do the herbicides in that, bound to be a few herbicide contracts. I won't overdo the size contracts because we do need size for ourselves in that as well, so that's the thing to bear in mind as well. But a few options for us to do going forward. We need to double our money if we want to get all four plots of land. But yeah, we'll have a think about it in the next episode or two, and see where we go from there. But anyways, that's where we're going to leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share us, then please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for you to do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, this will be Farmer and Void Stream, and I'll see you all very soon.